Hey guys, now we're about to eat at my favorite fast food place of all time, Taco Bell. It's lunch time. Of course it is. <laughs> Today is November 11th, I think. Saturday. They should know it's Saturday. But anyway, we're doing our usual thing like going to church after we eat. And then we're going to Puka afterwards it's to get pasta. Thing, which is not usual. Huh? That's not usual because usually we have pizza. Yeah, but we decide we're having pizza tomorrow. And I probably look like a mess right now, but I don't care because it's Florida. <laughs> I've been here for too long. What does being in Florida have to do with looking like a mess? Crazy, that's me. <laughs> Yummy, meatless Mexican pizza. Vegetarian. Dorito local, easy beef. Vegetarian. Uh, extra beef. And a crunch wrap. Well, of course, you can tell who likes more beef in this video. Hater. My mom hates it when I call her she's more vegetarian than me because I could eat beef any day and she doesn't want to eat beef after the day that we have beef, if that makes any sense. I have beef in this. Hopefully. Barely. Hopefully. Barely. No, they probably didn't do it right because they always make it uh, too much. Hmm. So far, I don't see any. <laughs> I guess they did it right. That is pathetic. It's yummy. And this is the leftovers. Oh, this is a this is a disclaimer. I'm not against vegetarians. as to say as a joke to my mother because, of course, I'm an omnivore and I eat lots of vegetables too with beef, of course. But I, I just don't want anyone to be sensitive about my comments and my mother saying that she's mostly vegetarian. But actually, your favorite food is chicken. Yeah, my favorite food is chicken wings and pizza. I just want to come here and say that to not cause any trouble with me and YouTube. Allie is the only one of my kids that will eat veggie pizza and uh, veggie pasta, lasagna. Pasta with no uh, meat in it. She does eat that as well. Veggie lasagna. She does eat a lot of vegetarian stuff because of me. But I'm not vegetarian because I eat beef. But, <laughs> but her favorite thing is chicken and turkey. She might be whole vegetarian because she prefers that compared to beef. And she has this weird phobia with beef if she sees what it's made from. Oh, I kind of had some beef. Do you mind? If she sees what she's made from, she would not eat any. And I had to suffer the consequence because of her. So most of the time I eat chicken just for her face. She's trying to hurt me here because I just had some beef on the taco. I didn't say how well she was. But yeah, like I said, I eat burgers and I eat steak and everything, so there's no way I'm a vegetarian. But she I was has in this the past. Phobia I was in the past. No one knows what it is. I was in the past, but not anymore because I love Freddy's steak burgers. You all know this, and I love steaks. Eh. But. After one day having beef, she she would not want any beef until like a week later. Still not vegetarian. Compared to me, she is. I can have beef any day, and I would still be good with it. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
So, I just turned this on because Allie felt the need to tell everybody that she's not against vegetarians in case we happen to have anybody watch the vlog that's vegetarian. Besides, I admit, if I was vegetarian, I would just eat pasta all the time and salad. So there you have it. So, go vegetarians. We're late again. Oh, it's about 5.31 or 5.32. And it's only our fault. Or my fault because I got a stomach ache at Taco Bell. And I had to be in the bathroom for a few minutes. So that was the difference to make us late. Look at this little boy handing up little program things. That is so cute. Get one. Thank you. In 1942. And Pastor Davis talking probably about so veterans. And then, yeah. whenever he was called, he gladly went and served his country. And he started flying bombing Gosh. missions in 1943, right? I hate being late. Now, I want you to listen to this story. He blew. 15 missions in the bomber called the 820. 12 planes. Only two were left. The rest of them were cut down. They beat you. <laughs> Whenever they got word that they weren't going to have more planes, then the RAF, the Royal Air Force, That's mainland, race. said they use their bombers, and so they did for a season. But then when Mel had a chance to come back and know that he had served us and served us well, he said, no, I don't want to go back. I want to fight for my country. He volunteered, get this, he volunteered to be transferred to the B-17 bomber as a gunner. And for 31 missions, he flew in the B-17 to try to defeat the enemy and protect freedom. And I just want you to know, there are not many men like this. He told me stories of watching his best friends being shot down. Stories of how he came back and how their plane made it, and others didn't. And he kept saying to me, I don't know why I'm here. Meaning, I'm not sure why I survived. And so many of my friends said, and I said, Mel, I can give you one. It's me. Because I needed to meet you. I needed to know you. And I think we can all say the same for this gentleman. And so whenever he had finished, now 46 missions, D-Day was upon us. We were about to heat, to hit, as you have seen the movies, and you've seen all the, the recounting of it. We were going into Normandy, and so he volunteered. They needed two to volunteer to fly over D-Day. He volunteered. Once again, I will do it. And what they were doing is doing reconnaissance, doing photos, doing pictures, as best they could to try to keep up with and have good reconnaissance. So he flew over Omaha Beach on June the 6th. 1944. So when I tell you this man has served his country, that's an understanding. He has served well. And he is worthy of honor. And tomorrow it is his desire to honor the Lord Jesus Christ most of all. He said, Pastor, I came to know Christ when I was young, but when I was baptized, I didn't really understand. But he said, I do now. And he said, on this Veterans Weekend, before my 95th birthday, I want to take a stand for Jesus Christ. So what an awesome honor that you have to have.
God do this for the few that are left of his generation that served us in World War II. Now, it's appropriate that you're standing because I want us to do something. Before I leave us in a prayer, it is a great honor tonight to sing the National Anthem. And to sing it because men like Mel and those who stood a moment ago have paid enormous prices to make sure we still can stand and sing the National Anthem. And so I'm going to ask everyone to stand. And as we sing, I want you to give thanks to the men and women who have served under this flag and who have honored us. Let's honor them as we sing the National Anthem. Lord the Lamb. This doesn't look like Buga, and there's a reason. Fans have changed. Because it's not. It's Marco's Pizza. Because I didn't realize my coupon oh. was ten dollars off of thirty. And multiple sales. He's perfect. Ten dollars off of thirty instead of ten dollars off. I didn't want to spend twenty dollars on Buga, so. We're at pizza instead. Guys, this worked out perfect because it only cost me like six twenty-seven or something like that. And that's because I had a loyalty card that um, they don't take anymore, so they took six dollars off of our order. So we got a uh, an extra old world pepperoni, the little small crunchy ones, the yummy ones, um, an extra cheese pizza, and we got a two liter of Pepsi for six bucks. Well, we came here now because their pizza is pretty good. We used to eat here once um, in the past, but we haven't been here since we moved. And it's not too, too far. She actually said we're in the delivery area, so that's awesome. So um, now we can order delivery or we can come up because it's close. So yeah, it's so exciting. We live by so many good food places. Any pizza place that you want is a delivery area for us, so that's I'm awesome. I'm surprised you won't be able to deliver to us because we're not that close. Mm -hmm. It's not super far either, but it's not close, close, but what, about 10 minutes away? Yeah. yeah we're like 10 minutes away, but she said we're in the delivery area, so that's awesome. So yeah, this pizza is going to be good, and I'm going to show you when it's ready. Hello, the masterpiece of pizza is here, and gonna kill Allie over there with all that cheese. It's worth it. Because she has trouble with cheese and digesting cheese. I can't really see the pepperonis because there's so much cheese. It's supposed to have extra. But yeah. Still yummy Allie? Yep. Hey guys. So we're back home. It's around 9.30 p.m. And I'm in my room. And I got like a million lights on because, as you know, no ceiling light or fan or anything. So I got every light on. I got my bathroom light. I got this light. I got this light. And I got this light. So hopefully you can actually see me in here. So yeah, I thought, you know, I'd go somewhere different instead of the kitchen all the time. But I go to the kitchen because, as you know, those lights are very, very bright. So I was coming back on, you know, basically um, Ellie and I are going to take showers, get comfortable, and we're going to watch a movie. I suggested Full Metal Jacket since Veterans Day and everything, and she's never seen it, and it's about the Marine Corps, where my son and her brother is. So I guess maybe we're going to watch that. Um, Romeo's in the kitchen eating his wet food. and. Um, I wanted to come back on here because I told you in the video yesterday with the Indian cookies that I had a health update. Basically, um, I went to my rheumatologist finally 
and um, she's doing a bunch of lab work and there's still a bunch to be done and I won't be seeing her again until December 5th and at that point she will let me know which autoimmune diseases that I have and she believes that there's a total of four so I can never say the one it's so Jordan's or something syndrome and it has to do with dry eyes and dry mouth and then there's um, fibromyalgia which um, I thought I was, I was gonna have lupus but she thinks it's fibromyalgia instead and then of course I already have scalp psoriasis and then she's thinking psoriatic arthritis which is very popular in people that have psoriasis so she's gonna let me know which ones I have on the 5th of December and in the meantime no treatment till I know which ones so that's that um, on Monday this past Monday I don't know what happened but I got out of bed and I could barely get out of bed I could barely walk my back was just like completely like pulled out of place or something I don't even know what I did because I hadn't done any yard work since last week um, so I have no idea what happened to my back I was in so much pain I almost went to the ER except what stopped me was the copays because um, I think I have to pay like $150 just to be seen in the ER with my insurance. So my back for like two days it was like that. Um, called my doctor, she said go to urgent care, but the one that's in the area that was open at the time had a 2.2 .2 out of 5 rating and I wasn't going to go spend money on a place that wasn't any good if you know what I mean. So I didn't do anything except on Tuesday I did call. A chiropractor I have um, a $30 copay for 20 visits in a calendar year so um, they couldn't get me until Wednesday so Wednesday I went to the chiropractor I was there for probably three hours but once I got finished there although I was in pain still I was able to walk and get up and down and stuff like I couldn't before so it actually really helped me and I'm supposed to go again Monday However, that's $60 with two visits, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that or not. But um, I am able to walk and move around, uh, unlike before. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can continue with the chiropractor and, and get this a little bit better. But I'll we'll just have to see how it goes because of money situations. Um, and then lastly, on Thursday, this past Thursday, um, I went to the sleep disorders clinic to be evaluated um, by a doctor for sleep apnea so more bad news based upon my symptoms and different questions and answers I gave um, the it was a nurse practitioner in neurology that I seen she told me that hey guys so sorry for the interruption but apparently I had um, filled up my memory on my camera so my recording abruptly ended so I'm not sure where I left off um, I'm just gonna go with as that she is 99% sure that I have sleep apnea which basically means that you know you have episodes where you stop breathing while you're sleeping and you don't ever get any good sleep because of that and that would explain why I'm completely exhausted all the time and I sleep in the daytime so um, yeah, so more bad news. I'm going to eventually have to get a CPAP machine um, to help me with the apnea. And I have a sleep study on December 1st. Um, it's an overnight thing where they monitor everything to see how bad it is. That is basically my health update. Um, hopefully one of these days I don't get any more bad news about my health because it's just so many different things that Sometimes I wonder how I can deal with this and still be breathing and alive. I guess it's by the glory of God or the grace of God that I'm still here because so many problems. It's just unreal. And I'm only 50. So, anywho, um, I'm going to uh, uh, end the vlog because I need to take a shower and get ready to watch the movie with Allie. And, uh, yeah tomorrow's back to choir rehearsal four to six 
and The Walking Dead and gosh I hope it gets better because I haven't really been impressed with the last couple shows so hopefully that'll be better tomorrow night and then it's back to a new week again so as always thank you for watching please don't forget to like thumbs up comment and subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you in the next one bye oh.